Hi, welcome back to Therapy Designs. If you're new to this channel, my name is Kelly and this channel is all about print on demand everything. So if that is something that you're interested in, please do stick around. So in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys another product that you could sell on Etsy or any other um, platform such as Amazon via Seller Central. And that is beer glasses, and they don't have to be beer glasses, but this is the example that I'm giving, but glassware, um, not mugs. Um, that's kind of a different category, but glassware in general. So you've got your, your pint glasses, um, wine glasses, shot glasses, and so glassware is another fun thing that you can do, and of course you can make custom ones or just generic. So this is the one that I'm gonna show you guys how to make today. It is just a funny beer glass. It says beer goes in, wisdom comes out. I did show you guys how to make a very similar design in one of my past videos. So if you were to go up to my channel and look through some of the past design videos, it'll show you kind of how you can get this style of design. I'm not gonna go over creating the entire design today, um, but I'm gonna show you how you can go ahead and just create this general product. So for starters, I'm gonna go ahead and just jump right over to Printify and we'll start there. So here I am on Printify, and so we are going to be looking at drinkware. So right here we can see drinkware here. You can also, if you're looking for it, if you were to go to catalog, it is going to be in home and living, and then it is gonna be under glassware, which is, by the way, separate from mugs and separate from your bottles and tumblers. So we're just looking at glassware here and you can see that there's lots of different versions. So here's a pint glass that's very similar to the one I picked, a stemless wine glass, here's a frosted one, you've got your shot glasses, whiskey glasses, bar glasses. This is the one that I used here, they call it a mixing glass, but it's pretty much just a pint glass. And then you've got your frosted, like mirror, um, sorry, beer mug. So lots of different images, um, or lots of different products, I should say, to choose from. Um, so this is pretty much the same as this, very similar in terms of, of um, products. This one's a lot more expensive though, so it's still 16 ounce, it still prints pretty much the same, but this one started at 1187 and this one started at 798. So I was gonna go with the cheaper price point, that way I could afford to sell it cheaper. Um, and hopefully that brings in more sales by having a lower price point. So I usually will try to go that way unless the quality is a really big issue, but this one looks pretty identical. So I went ahead and went with that bottom one there. I wasn't too big of a fan necessarily of the frosted ones with my designs. I did like the clear. And of course you could use this sort of technique for any of these. So lots of fun wine glasses that you could do. I know Etsy is going to be filled with wine glasses. Again, if you need ideas, just go up to Etsy, for example, and type in something like uh, glassware for her, glassware for mom, um, wine glasses, you know, uh, beer glasses, and you can see what kinds of designs come up and you can get some design ideas that way. And so from here, I'm gonna go ahead, I'm just gonna pick this bottom one and it will let you know sort of the dimensions. Now. I went ahead and used some t-shirt designs that I already had. That way I didn't have to create necessarily new designs. So the beer design that I had, I actually originally created for a t-shirt. And so its dimensions are that of a t-shirt, but it works really well um, on a glass as well. So I could actually use that design on multiple products. Um, so that was you know, convenient without having to really change a lot. So 16 ounce wraparound exterior, which means I could have it go all the way around if I wanted to. So if you wanted to do something like a pattern all the way around, you definitely could. Um, for this one, I'm just showing an individual design on the front, but you can do all sorts of different things. It is dishwasher safe. It prints with nice colors. Obviously you can use it for you know, drinking glass, shaking glass, whatever you want. It'll give you all the different kind of dimensions here. But if I was to go here to start designing, you can see that it's just going to give you one big wrap around image. And so if I wanted to wrap all the way around the whole thing, I could scroll down and it's going to give you the print area size here, which is 2,733 pixels by 1,238 pixels and that's going to give you this really 
big wide rectangle that would then print all the way around if you wanted to do it that way. For this design, I'm just going to have one design centered in the middle of the mug. So what it would be like would be more in this general area. So with that in mind, I'm not super concerned with those dimensions. So I'm gonna jump over to Canva and I've already got this design kind of made. And so here it is, my beer goes in, wisdom comes out. Now, I actually like it in white as well, and I do think that white looks really good on the glass uh, in terms of like the print. And if you actually have beer in the glass, then I think that the white really stands out and, and looks very nice. Problem is on their mock-up images, it can't be seen very well because their mock-up images are pretty much against a white background. If I do a white um, print, it doesn't show very well. So with that in mind, I decided to go with more of a darker color. So I went with more of what I thought would be more of a beer color, so more of a golden sh shade. So I just went ahead and, and, and changed every single element on here to that sort of gold color. Um, but this is the design I'm going to make. By the way, like I said, I did have a video showing you guys how you could make similar designs to this. So if you want to see the step by step on this, go to my channel, look under the design tutorials. You might have to go back a little bit, but I do have one that that shows a very similar design style and how to make it. Essentially, these are all just like flourish lines that I found under graphics. And then it was just a lot of playing with the different fonts. If you're super curious, this font here that I really like is Rye. So Rye works really good in a lot of the vintage style stuff. The other one that I had here is Brixton Outline. And then the one at the very bottom is Winter Inline. So those are the fonts that I like to use a lot with some of these vintage style designs. And other than that, these are all just flourish lines and I just kind of went through you know, flourishes, decorative lines, ornamental lines, and came up with the lines that I thought looked the best. Um, and so you guys can, you know, try to create this design or one very similar to that. Works really good on shirts, works really good on, you know, any kind of apparel as well as glassware. So once you have your design, I'm gonna go ahead and download it. So I'll hit share download. I do want this to be a transparent background because I just want the graphic. I don't want, you know, a black box in the middle of my drink. So I'm going to go ahead, hit download, and then jump right back over to Printify once this is downloaded. We'll upload it and I'll show you how it's going to look. So from here, I'm going to go ahead, go to the top where you can see open from my device. I'll click that. It'll pull up your downloads and then you're just going to go ahead and select the download that you just made and it will take a second. And it should center it right in the middle. And so that worked pretty perfectly there. So it centered it right in the middle. Now I could, by the way, put one on the front and one on like the back. So if I had wanted to do that, I, I could have easily, um, oops, gotten the dimensions that it told me and just kind of did a copy pasted like duplicate and had one on the front and one on the back. Again, my issue with that is that in the mock-up, it didn't look so good because it's a clear glass and they don't have anything in it. And so what you were getting was the design overlapping the design because you could see through the glass. And so that didn't look good. It's really important that your mock-ups look good because that's what people see. So if you have a mock-up with a print front and black back, but there's nothing in the glass and you're seeing the front and back print, it looks kind of silly. So with this in mind, I just had the, the, the design on the front and it made the preview work a lot better or the mock-up work a lot better. And so there's a few different mock-ups, but they all show the glass as empty. So here's your basic front mock-up and it looks pretty good, pretty simple. And then there's a couple of, of context mock-ups. So if I was to go to the context mock-up here and give it a sec, it's going to show you that. Now that looks pretty cool because it's got the bar stuff. So it's got your mixing spoon and it's got your, your um, um, kind of shot glass area thing there, but the gloss on it makes it a little tough to see the design. So this is a mock-up that I might include in my images, but it wouldn't be my main mock-up image because I think it's a little hard to actually see the design. And of course we do want the design to pop because you want the design to sell. So good mock-up, probably not the one I would keep um, as my main mock-up just because it's, it's hard to kind of see it. 
uh, context image number two. This one does have some liquid in here, but it's just some water with some lemon. So again, it's kind of makes it hard to see your design when we've got that kind of um, different colors in the background. So this is again, probably not the mock-up that I would wanna use. I might not even include this specific mock-up. Really the one that works best was that first one because it just is gonna show your design just like that. Um, so again, this works really well. If you wanted to do sort of that solid wraparound, you have to remember that it's not going to be completely, totally printed. There's cutoff lines, so it'd be like clear on the top and then it would be like a line going straight through the glass and then this would all be solid. Um, so it, that's more of like that mug style that wraps around um, and then you would have a border line going down the back where the wrap, you know, connects. So you would definitely see that sort of line. You can do pattern designs on here too. Some people just do random pattern designs. So lots of different ways we could go with this. But this is the one that I thought looked the best and it is the one that I went ahead and used as my main image on my Etsy shop. And so the way that I titled this was, I did a little bit of a long tailed keyword, beer goes in, wisdom comes out, a pint glass, 16 ounce. And then I went funny beer glass, beer gift for dad, men's beer lover pint glass, beer mixing glass. And so you can see how you can sort of market that. If you have any questions about this, drop it in the comments section below. I'll try to get back to you guys as quickly as I can. All of this is just to get you guys thinking about different types of products that you can sell other than simply t-shirts. T-shirts do sell well, but if we're working on different platforms, you may again find that some things sell better on some platforms than others. And so this is one of those products that would sell really well on Etsy. Um, and of course you could find ways to make this customizable as well if you'd want to. So I hope you guys are still doing well. Quarter four is wrapping up. So I hope you guys are well into designing and uploading for quarter one. And I hope to see you guys again next week. That's it for today's video. If you found that useful and would like to see more videos with helpful tips and tricks, be sure to hit like and subscribe and turn on your notifications so you don't miss any of the weekly videos. As always, keep growing and stay creative and we'll see you next time.